Hello and welcome. Today's topic is uh, an answer for the question of is pens useful? Can we use it in everyday life? When we talk about uh, pens uh, usefulness, of course, we're talking about the application in industry or the application that can really benefit our lives, our everyday lives. Of course, you can use pens to uh, write papers and of course uh, many people now they're doing research in uh, their PhD and uh, during their PhD and master's degrees to um, of course on pens and how to uh, compute their problems with pens but the question is is this technology is useful for everyday activity for everyday uh, problems the answer is of course I will say yes <laughs> Uh, pens has two main features the main feature is it is fast it gives us the answer fast of course after getting trained during the training it takes a long time even sometimes uh, longer than the usual methods of computing so the first one is the first feature is it's fast the second feature it is general we can generalize it at the end, it's a neural network that taking that is taking the um, the the judgment or give us the answer. So it's not a well-defined um, equation. It's a neural network. It has uh, neurons that can fire and not fire based on the situation we have. So we can generalize this uh, problem. So how can we turn these features into value? So the value is well determined. Can we, is it useful or not? This technology, is it useful or not? And uh, the reality is it has three main applications. The first application is we built a network that is general, that can solve any initial condition and boundary condition. So basically you're doing about we're talking about a problem generalization or solution for this problem in a general way it can take initial different initial conditions different boundary conditions and you can get the answer very fast where can we use such feature or such value well for example uh, for a crane when you want to get an answer can this crane lift this weight or not then you have to test this weight and based on that you will understand is it possible to lift this weight or not based on your computation and a little bit smarter than just writing the um, the crane uh, to, like the maximum uh, weight uh, that it can hold so this is the first uh, application a general initial condition and boundary condition the second application of pins is optimization design optimization pins can be used to generalize not just the initial condition and boundary condition but also geometry so having the input of the geometry into this into these pins and of course you have to also change the the data you you, you in, during the training so you consider the geometry changes you can actually make a model that is general to different designs so you can generate different designs and values for different clients in no time you don't have to send it to ce uh, which is which is computer edit engineering department and uh, or cfd department uh, computer fluid dynamics department to, to, to get the answer you already have a network and this network can give you the answer very fast you can even make it online and make the customer try different geometries depending on what he wants to do and of course you can run an optimization uh, model or algorithm to actually uh, use these results of this uh, network and get the best design for your specific uh, problem the final and the third um, application of uh, pens which is very important and it will be there in the future is digital twinning or 
or basically detailed or simulation based digital twinning. So we will have this digital twin, which is a, a mimic of what is in real life. You will have uh, something happening, an operation happening actively on real life, and you will have a mimic that in software which is the digital uh, twin of this uh, operation, but you also want to understand the stresses and, uh, for example, the stresses or fluid dynamics of this um, structure or uh, device. These are the uh, possibilities of using pens in every uh, day life. Uh, I do think uh, with, uh, with time, these applications will, will grow. And uh, many, we will see that uh, um, many companies are going to uh, include these uh, capabilities into their products. So let's see uh, what's going to happen and let's enjoy this uh, digital transformation and um, we uh, keep building capability in that direction.